Hi guys, the season finale of Amazon's Wheel of Time series is only a day away and I am so excited and absolutely thrilled to be back and ready to delve into my predictions for season 2 episode 8 of the Wheel of Time. The Wheel of Time has been a real delight for me guys and even though the season finale is tomorrow I really just cannot resist the urge to theorize and chat with my fellow fans about what we might witness in this epic conclusion. So like any self-respecting fantasy nerd, I embarked on an adventure through every teaser, trailer, entertainment blog, anything I could find until I was satisfied. I'm thrilled to announce that I've gathered all the clues I could and I'm ready to share my predictions with all of you. Unlike my Song of Ice and Fire reviews, these will be show specific as I'm currently diving into the books. So rest assured, there won't be any spoilers unless I'm right of course, and I'll do a step it series to review the books. So if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. If you're new here, stick around. I'm not going to hold you. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. These are my Wheel of Time finale predictions for Episode 8, Season 2. First, I think we're going to have another open with the dragon. Because of the focus put on Forsaken and the Forsaken story, I'm hoping for some more explanation of exactly what happened between the friends before, during, and even after the War of Power. As you can see from this shot, Lewis will be present in the finale episode, and he doesn't look too happy. Last year's finale saw Lewis and his female Aes Sedai counterpart discussing the two main plans about what to do with the Dark One and of course her saying that she couldn't support his plan. We all know how that turned out. Next, I think more Forsaken will be unleashed. The Dark One and his 13 Forsaken were all sealed away from the world using seven seals. In this shot, we see Lanfear and Ishmael sitting down in front of six of them. I think these seals aren't the physical seals to the Dark One's prison, but they're like totems. I think that these are physical representations of the seals that are made of power or whatever that hold the rest of the Forsaken and the Dark One in their prison. I think we will see Lanfear and Ishmael release some old friends. Maybe they need more channelers, I'm not sure. But I do think that Ishmael was not sealed in the same way as the others and that the missing seal was destroyed when releasing Lanfear. 8. I think that um, Loyal is going to join the fight officially. In this shot, we see Loyal holding the Horn of Valir, and here we see him putting the paws on a San Chan soldier. A complete pacifist no more, I think Loyal is finally ready to be a hero and joining the fight physically. Also, what could have led Loyal to possessing the horn in the first place? And what does he plan on doing with it? Next, Ran is going to beat Ishmael. Again, we see Ishmael and Ran face off in a ton of scenes in these trailers and teasers. They're definitely going to come to blows, and unless the show is just over, I'm thinking Ran has enough plot armor to survive this fight no matter what happens. Additionally, we're going to have to have some sort of fight um, where their power hits in the sky, hits each other in the sky, or perhaps that'll happen when Ran is fighting somebody else, because remember, the dragon will be proclaimed in form in the sky. Next, I think that Egwene definitely kills Reyna. Definitely. I'm thinking it's gonna be a, a little something like this, actually. But either way, with everything and everyone converging on Falm, it seems extremely likely that Nynaeve and Elaine will attempt a rescue from the kennels. And with three of the most powerful Aes Sedai left on the planet, a pissed off yellow Aja and a broken blue Aja sitter, the fireworks are sure to be set off folks. These ladies are highly powered, highly pissed off, and traveling incognito. They're gonna make noise. Next, I think that Matt makes a choice and picks a side, as we can see here. Matt looks pretty uneasy sitting in that chair staring at the knife, but in another shot he seems to be more resolved, standing next to the window, being bathed by light. He looks at the knife, but he's further away from it. Lastly, this shot from a teaser trailer shows Matt charging the Shan Chan with fighters at his back. I think Matt definitely picks a side, and it's the side of light. Legends of today. Legends of tomorrow happening today? I think two prophecies will be realized. One, the dragon reborn, 
proclaiming himself in a firefight with Ishmael. We've seen scenes with them facing off, and I think that between that and the fight with Lord Turek, uh, Turek of the Shan Chan, everyone is about to witness the might of the dragon reborn in Falm. The second prophecy concerns the Horn of Valair. Hear me out. You probably know that the Horn of Valair is supposed to bring history's greatest heroes to fight alongside those who fight for the light. We also see Loyal with it here in an early teaser trailer. Lastly, we see Matt. Matt is running at the Shan Chan with people who appear to be, look at them, they're made of mist or magic in some way. So they appear as if power is being channeled around them or maybe even through them. Do you see Matt? Do you see the Shan Chan? Now look at these ghost-like figures behind Matt. These, I believe, are the heroes of the Horn. These legends will be introduced to fight for Falm and the Light, but also will help us drive our story forward as we progress towards the last battle. Next, I think the fight against the Dark is going to go public. It's going to get serious, and the Dark is going to openly try to take Falm. In this shot, we see a faceless inside of what looks like a home or an apartment or something in Falm. If faceless are running rampant throughout the city, what else is in there? After all, we have our standard heroes, in addition to Freed X Demone, in addition to the Heroes of the Horn, and it looks like the Children of the Light, who I'm no fan of, but they still fight on the side of the light. That's a lot of quote-unquote good guys, which can only mean that there's going to be a ton of bad guys. More Forsaken, anybody? Next, I think that someone has got to have trained Ran. Something happened. In this shot, we can clearly see that Ran is using what looks like a battle weave. He emits pretty sharp looking bolts of energy that look like small flying knives that are just zipping through the air. Now where did he learn that? From the insane asylum dragon? Either way, it looks as if the Amaralyn seat may not have been completely right here. It seems that Ran has learned a few things and he has been practicing, he just doesn't have the experience. Next, the Aes Sedai will start a civil war and this is going to be my last prediction of the season guys. Leandrin Sedai and others are very clearly Black Aja. Moraine's sister most likely told everyone with ears and anyone who needs to know and the Aes Sedai will have to fight their own inside of the White Tower and their own at Chiron between the 14 sisters. I think I've identified at least three that are clearly dark. Okay, so what do you guys think? Do the trailers back up the predictions? Is there anything you want to see during the finale? I'll be doing a full episode breakdown, season breakdown, and S season one rewatch over the next few months. So look out for those, and if you want to see the trailers and rare teasers that I use for this video, check out this video. I smashed them all together in like a super, e a super, a <laughs> super idiot, a super edit, so that you can spot all the cool scenes that were used to make predictions in this video until next time i'm lady d this has been an awesome time and i hope to see you guys again <laughs>